is Zach with COTG. I'm here in our Bowling Book headquarters. Today we're going to show you how to add fax and email addresses to your 58 series and 78 series devices. Before we can do that, first thing you need is your machine's IP address. And I'm going to show you how to get that right now. To get your machine's IP address, walk up to the device, select the machine status button, and in the middle column you'll notice where it says IPv4 address. The number underneath that is what you will want to write down. Write that number down and then bring it back with you to your desk. Once you get back to your desk, I want you to open up a web browser. I'll use Internet Explorer in this case. Under the address bar, you will type in the IP address that we just wrote down from the previous step. This will bring you to the machine's web interface and this is where you can add to your address book. Along the top, you'll see a couple choices as far as tabs here. Select the address book tab. If you're prompted for a password, the username is admin, that's A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase, and the password is 1111. That'll bring you to the device address book page that you see here. If you want to add to the address book, just simply click the button in the top left-hand corner that says add. From here, you'll be prompted in to type in a first name or last name or a company name. The display name will populate itself. For email addresses, type in the email address. And also for fax numbers, type in the fax number here in this heading. Once you type in an email address, if you'd like to add it to your favorites, feel free to hold your mouse over the star button here to the right of the email and highlight that box. Once you're done adding your email address, select the Save button. If you want to add additional email addresses or fax addresses, just continue to click the Add button in the left-hand corner and follow the same process. Just remember, after you enter in your information, click the Save button down in the right-hand corner. Once you're done, you can close your browser.